Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So a very loyal viewer of ours forwarded me this video, this priceless gem of anti-veganism. And this is outrageous, as you'll see. I mean, I've seen some just wacky, zany, anti-vegan stuff. This is probably in the top five or 10. And strangely, I'm sure this person has no idea even that, that they're anti-vegan. So as you'll see, it gets pretty outrageous. I'm not gonna debate any of the politics or theology or religion. As always, we're gonna just look at what this person says and respond to it objectively. When you go to your favorite fast food restaurant, you're gonna be eating a fake hamburger. You're gonna to go to the grocery store and buy a pound of fake hamburger or a fake steak. I mean, unless you're extremely illiterate, when you go to the market and buy, say, a Beyond Burger, it says very clearly that they are plant-based. They are not in any way trying to deceive you and making you think you're buying some kind of animal burger there. And likewise, if you go to fast food, Carl's Jr. carries um, plant-based burgers there, the Beyond Burger, and they say really clearly that these are plant-based. And you won't know that it was grown in some big corporation's laboratory. Grown in some giant corporation's laboratory? We're talking about plant-based meat. It's not like some kind of outer space weird food. Perhaps though, as I was showing this to Angie, she said maybe he's talking about lab-grown meat. I don't know, he's not really being clear. He just seems to have a beef against all plant-based meats. And what's this thing about food grown by giant corporations? I mean, is this okay with him? I assume these giant feedlots are owned by giant corporations. This is the nightmare world that they're taking us into. Indeed, a nightmare world of plant-based foods. And let me show you what he's talking about here. Just this last weekend, Angie and I attended a vegan festival in downtown Los Angeles, Vegan Playground. So if you're easily shocked, easily um, grossed out, and don't want to see something really shocking and horrifying, just stop the video right now. Be forewarned, these are some horrific nightmare images of a world filled with plant-based meats. Just the humanity. I cannot take this. They're changing God's creation. Why? Because they want to be God. This is just complete nonsense. Just because some people and companies are creating plant-based burgers, that doesn't do anything to change cows. Cows are still existing. Cow burgers are still out there in the world, unfortunately. I mean, and it seems like to give extra reality to, to burgers, that's God's creation. But are not the ingredients that make up, say, a Beyond Burger, aren't those also not God's creation? Like peas, mung beans, coconut, potatoes. They want to do exactly what Lucifer did before the flood. It's why God destroyed it. He said he regretted that he ever made mankind because they were destroying his creation. I mean, if he's truly concerned about protecting our planet, God's creation, he should be concerned about one of our largest existential threats, climate change, which I'm guessing he's probably a denier of, but animal agriculture is responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions than all of transportation combined. The Bible says God is coming back to destroy those who are destroying the earth. And he's watching these Luciferians destroy his planet destroy the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom. So if you really want to see who these Luciferians are who are destroying our planet, look no further than the animal agriculture business, not vegan food makers. Animal agriculture is the leading cause of species extinction, ocean dead zones, water pollution, and habitat destruction. As well, the animal agriculture business are the same Luciferians who are destroying the plant kingdom. Animal agriculture is responsible for up to 91% of Amazon rainforest destruction, and the leading cause of rainforest destruction is to clear the forest for livestock and feed crops. So let's directly compare the environmental impact of producing a quarter pound beef burger versus a Beyond Burger. And actually the University of Michigan conducted a peer reviewed study measuring exactly this. So compared to a beef burger, the Beyond Burger uses 99% less water, 93% less land, 90% fewer greenhouse gas emissions, and 46% less energy. So please tell me, anti-vegan dude here, how these environmentally friendly, plant-based burgers, vegan burgers, are destroying our planet, God's creation, where all the evidence shows it's, it's plain as day. It's absolutely clear. Maybe he'll watch this video and actually learn something that, no, it's the animal agriculture business, the business that produces your hamburgers. That's what's destroying our planet. So God 
is an environmentalist. Well, I'm with you on that one. If that's true, then God would want us to be vegans, and here's why. This is because you can produce 37,000 pounds of vegetables on one and a half acres, but only 375 pounds of meat on that same plot of land. A vegan diet produces half as much CO2 as an American omnivore, uses 1 11th the amount of fossil fuels, 1 13th the amount of water, and an 18th of the amount of land. After adding this all up, I realized I had the choice every single day to save over 1,100 gallons of water, 45 pounds of grain, 30 square feet of forested land, the equivalent of 20 pounds of CO2, and one animal's life. And if what he's been saying so far hasn't been wacky and zany enough, now he goes on to say that the makers of plant-based burgers are trying to change human DNA. Change human DNA. Why? They want to change human DNA so that you can't be born again. Mm. You mean the burger makers are trying to create a sterile human race? Or are you talking about born again in the Christian sense? That's where they're going with this, to change the, the DNA of humans. So it will be impossible for a human to be born again. They, they want to create a race of soulless creatures. Okay, I mean, come on, really? Like, how would that even happen? How would eating plant-based burgers cause your DNA to change? I mean, what technology would they have to put in these foods to make DNA change? I mean, we saw the ingredients earlier for Beyond Burgers. There's nothing really all that weird in there that would cause DNA change. And then further, the DNA change would cause a change in your body so that you would have no soul anymore. Like, come on, please, where are you getting this from? Is there any, any Anything to back this up, any science and any religious scripture that you can produce here, you're just making crap up here. I mean, come on. I mean, stop lying about veganism. Stop lying about plant-based burgers. This is just absolutely disgusting misinformation. So let me know what you think is going on here, guys. Why have there been so many attacks against plant-based food, plant-based diets, veganism, and even vegans, us personally, so much lately? I can't go a day without seeing something like this going on. It's just getting out of hand. And I think it's because, this is my speculation, that veganism and plant-based foods have really started to catch on, especially in the mainstream. People that may have not heard about this stuff ever, they're finally hearing about it, and they're scared, and they're lashing out in fear and anger. So let me know your thoughts share down below what you think is going on and let me know what your favorite gem of misinformation from this dude was here there was just so many um i'm not sure what mine is so let me know what yours is it was all outrageous though so until next time remember let's share with the world let's spread it doesn't suck being vegan Round